Weather from where you live. All the oppressive heat and humidity are back. Our high at the station today, 88. We're down to 86 now, but it's still 88 at Attica, 87 at Covington. Some of these heat indices mid to upper 90s, but a rain cooled 74 at Kentland and a rain cooled 82 at Rochester. The airport's at 85. There's the 86 at the station, but still 88 degrees at Klondike. Warm front's gone north of our area, so we're bathed in the oppressiveness, if you will, and also thunderstorms. There's one wave here that'll come through this evening. There's another wave out here that'll come through late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and then the actual cold front, which is out in Kansas, will swing through tomorrow. That'll be wave number three and wave one is lighting up precision right now. Thunderstorm pulsing up pretty rapidly, moving towards state line city in the central part of Warren County and another little thunderstorm trying to get going near Perryville. And if that does pop, that would have to head up towards Covington and Attica. Thunderstorm here near West Point. This is actually working up towards West Lafayette and will be here very soon. And this storm's really pulsed up rapidly just west of Round Grove, moving up towards Seafield and west of the Chalmers area in White County and a thunderstorm near Brookston headed for Monticello. The strongest storm at the present time is right around Kentland. Abundant lightning with this heavy rainfall and I can't rule out some hail in this. 100% uh, chance of hail with this and also uh, some of that hail may be up to penny size and this is moving northeastward towards the western part of Jasper County and these will continue to develop through the evening so you'll be dodging some storms for the Friday night frenzy. But once we get these out of here, a calmer night ahead before a few more storms come back in late tonight, early tomorrow morning. 77 by 11 tonight, 70 for the low and back to 81 by 11 a.m. tomorrow. High rest feature cast shows by 11 midnight, a lot of thunderstorms getting out of the area. So we'll have a break at least for a while, but notice tomorrow morning, there's that other wave of showers and thunderstorms coming in. That's eight o'clock. And that's around 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. Then a break for a while. The sun might actually come out a little bit, but notice what happens towards Purdue game time. Here comes the front, and I do expect perhaps a broken line of thunderstorms to pass through the area between noon and right through the uh, afternoon hours. And then they get out of here, and notice how Sunday is dry and slightly less humid too. 85 tomorrow, Lafayette, but a humid 85, 84 at Monticello, 86. Crawfordsville will be in the 80s Sunday, but slightly less humid and dry. And for the big Purdue Western Michigan matchup for tomorrow, the Broncos against the Boilermakers. Yeah, the thunderstorms around 85 for the high temperature. Be aware of that if you're headed out to Ross Aid. 7A forecast. 84 common number Sunday through Tuesday, but a few storms on Labor Day, some storms Tuesday. And storms Wednesday, Thursday, Friday as the front stalls out over us. And then finally by next week, and I think it'll move north of us, but it will bathe us in low 90s. All right, Gina's got her football tickets ready to go for tomorrow, <laughs> yeah. so maybe she should take an umbrella. 